Analog Devices buying Maxim Integrated. It's an all-stock deal. It will combine two of the largest companies in the semiconductor area. Analog Devices CEO Vincent Roche joins us now. Very nice to have you with us this morning, Vincent. Um, let me start with the basic question, which is why is this deal good for your shareholders, good for your customers, and good for your employees? Yeah, good morning, and thanks for having me. So, um, look, we've been for, we're a 55-year-old company. For that period of time, we have focused on building the world's best analog franchise. And, um, you know, more and more, our customers are asking us to do more and more. So, um, I think in this particular deal, scale is going to matter. We, we get more technology, we get more talent, uh, and we get more products quite honestly, to sell as well. So I tend to view these um, acquisitions, these mergers, as good for our customers for driving long-term profitable growth through innovation. So I think uh, given that it's an all-stock deal as well, uh, our shareholders on both sides will get to share in the upside uh, in terms of the increased equity value as we uh, combine the company, make it grow stronger, and make it more efficient. Right. Uh, roughly 69 percent owned, so to speak, by your shareholders, 31 percent by right. uh, uh, current shareholders of Maxim. Give me an example of what this will enable you to do with your customers or what you will be able to offer those customers that you haven't been in the past when this uh, when you have integrated Maxim. Well, let me give you two particular examples in the area of, uh, for example, um, vehicle autonomy, radar systems, uh, Maxim brings a very, very important interconnect technology that helps to move the, the information around the car in a very, very high fidelity, very, very high speed way. Uh, and that's a piece of technology that ADI doesn't have today. So it combines very well with ADI's uh, strength and infotainment in the car, for example. Uh, another area where Maxim has a particular strength is in the data center, bringing the core power technologies that are really so important uh, to making sure that the energy gets to where it needs to uh, in these very, very processor dense data centers. Um, and that's a place where we don't play today. ADI has other technologies in data centers. So together we can take on more of the challenge in a, in a business of increasing complexity for our customers. This is Jim. Always good to see you. Thank you, Jim. One of the things that shocked me, I don't want to, I don't want to bury the leader. You reported a much better than expected quarter today. This is a quarter where everybody expects earnings per share to be down about 40 percent. Can you tell us what in your mosaic was on fire here? <laughs> well, first and foremost, we're a business. We're, we're a B2B centered company uh, with a lot of diversity. So, you know, what we saw, Jim, this quarter uh, this is... Uh, uh, growing strength in our industrial automation sector and and our communication sector, of course, along with healthcare. So those businesses are very, very strong. Uh, you know, automotive still remains on the weaker side. And um, so that is the benefit and the great strength of the diverse business that we've been building in terms of products, applications and customers. Vince, I, I think EV is the way to go. I know you control a lot of the train of that, but what's most exciting is this space business that you have. Uh, it, this is something that uh, I think that Maxim extends to healthcare, extends to the data center. But talk about space because it, it's a real business for you. It is a real business, uh, and it really um, was catalyzed with the acquisition of Hittite all those years ago, five years ago, uh, with very, very high-frequency communications technologies, to which we've been able to partner a lot of the ADI uh, signal processing capabilities. Now, with LT and Maxim, we also can bring very, very important power management solutions to bear. So it's still a relatively small business, Jim, for ADI today, but we see tremendous growth prospects and our penetration of that market from a customer perspective is very, very solid. Uh, what are your expectations when it comes to research and development uh, in terms of your ability to compete with obviously what is a fairly competitive set uh, of yeah. companies? Yeah, so we are unique. I mean, we as a company, first and foremost, we play at the cutting edge. So we lead. We are a leader. That, that's always been our proposition, that we bring great cutting edge technologies to bear to enable our customers to realize their innovation ambitions. 
And uh, if you look at Hittite, you look at LT, you look at Maxim, uh, they share that, uh, that DNA, that ethos with us. So my sense is that uh, we'll be able to, in a business that is increasing in terms of innovation complexity, where customers are asking us to solve more and more of the problem for them, I think this speaks to that beautifully. We've 10,000 engineers that we can point at, uh, you know, all the spaces that we care about in B2B and consumer and everything that will emerge. So I think it's uh, from a scale standpoint and from an ethos standpoint, it's a great match.